Hello friends, if you are using Microsoft Word a lot, then there is high chances that you will be using tables. There are a lot of table shortcuts that can reduce your time and effort in managing creating tables. So let us take a look on all the shortcuts. We'll start with creating a table. Create an empty table. Just make a table with borders as plus and, and fill it with equal to right like this. Just remember that it should start with a plus sign and end with a plus sign. Once you have sure that this is the size of a table that you want, then press enter and here comes the table. So this is a way to create a table. And if you want to add row, you just, you just have to click tab and then you can add as many as row as you want. Now, this is just an empty table. Now, if you want to create a filled table, then you just type a content, right? Serial number and columns should be separated by a tab. I'll just make this on. The column should be separated by tab. First column, second column, and the row should be separated by a return key or new row should be there on a new line, right? So this is serial number one. That's it. That is first, and then second, serial number two third and then fourth right and now suppose i want to convert this data into a table so it is just a keyboard shortcut press alt a v x and then you will get this kind of thing and press enter right so automatically you get data filled in appropriate rows and columns just remember that separate columns by tab and row by a line right a new row should begin on a new line a data of a new column should be separated by a tab so this is about creating a table if you want to create a new table you just use plus and equal to and if you want to create a fill table write the data of the table as it is just remember that uh, the, the column should be separated by a tab and a row should start on a new line now next thing is create uh, managing the table right now if you want to get a new column right so suppose if i want to get a new column just hover over here and you can see the plus sign and, this, and then click on the plus sign so this is how you can create a new column and for row just go in between the row and you will have a plus sign at the starting of the row and you have plus sign so you can just use this plus sign to create as many row as required right i'll just undo it this is about creating a new row and a new column you can also use tab if you want to create a new row at the end of the table just go to the last cell of the, of the bottommost row and press tab pressing tab will create a new row if you want to go to the next cell then just press tab this is about navigation and if you want to go to, to the previous press shift tab and the next thing is if you want to go to the first cell of a row press alt home suppose i am here if I want to go to the first cell of the row, I will press Alt and then Home. So this takes me to the first cell of the row. And if I want to go to the last cell of the row, I will press Alt and End. So this takes me to the last cell of a row. Similarly, if I want to navigate in columns, go to the first cell of a column, I will press Alt and Page Up. So this takes me to the first cell of a column and to the go to, go to the last cell, press Alt Page Down. So this is about navigation. So I want to split a table, right? So if I want to make a make a new table from this from this point, so what do I do? I just place my cursor here and then press Control Shift Enter, and here comes my new table, right? I have split the table into two. So this is one of the easiest way to go and split the table. Of course, you can go in layout and then do all these things. Doing this keyboard shortcut is really efficient and you can save a lot of time, right? So I can just split the table by pressing Control, Shift and Enter. And if I want to merge this cell, what I'll do is I'll just go and delete the space in between, right? So I'll just go and delete the space in between. The, the cells are getting automatically merged. Another way to merge the table is to select a table which you want to move it side and then press Alt, Shift and up arrow. So this is about the current selected table then it will merge it. Favorite shortcut is moving rows. Right. Let us say I have this row thirds and yeah. 
right suppose i want to move this upside right? what will i do normally is i will just copy this row right and swap it and place it at the other place and then do all these points of top but that exactly is not required you just have to select that row right and press alt shift arrow to move it upside and down arrow to move it downside right this is very cool shortcut one more thing that we use quite often is we have we have talked about inserting a row or a column right but what about deleting so what we have to do to delete a row we just have to select that row and press backspace and then you have to select appropriate options like we have to delete entire row press enter right i'll just press ctrl z suppose i will select this column and press backspace and i get i can delete the column right so for deleting column it's very easy but for deleting row you have to select and choose appropriate options so that's all about tables so if you want to see more such videos uh, please suggest me the topic i will make a video on how to make it easier right and thanks very much for watching my video have a great day